Hey, Golden Goose here. Okay, here is your free reading. You want to know if you should move on. Okay, this was kind of a complicated reading here. Okay, we start out with that I pulled the King of Wands, and this represents you, that you're a businessman, that you... Are very in control of things that you know you've got you know some power in business very willful and then the situation that you are asking about for that I pulled the Queen of Cups which is a feminine energy the King of Wands is a masculine energy, and the queens are feminine, and so the Queen of Cups is someone who is, you know, moody, you know, emotional, you know, sensitive, but also a loving person, and I am assuming that this is a relationship that you're asking about if you should move on from and what you need to know I pulled a card is that I pulled a page of wands so this tells me that there's a another person to take into consideration someone who is maybe a younger version of yourself maybe a child that you've got that's or, you know, it could be somebody at work that's maybe an intern or just starting out in your business. But somehow or another, there's a third person involved. Somebody that you need to take into consideration when making your decision. And so, because that didn't give me a whole lot of information, I pulled another card. And I got the Devil card. And this card is about um, battling the demons that you've created yourself. That there is something in your life that has become all-consuming and takes all your time and energy. And you maybe started it as, you know, with good intentions, but it has grown out of control and you know is taking everything you know but you just don't real maybe don't realize that it's be gotten out of control or you just don't know what to do about it and so and what this card tells me is that this is something that you are putting everything into but not getting anything back from. And because it is something of your own doing, the card tells us also that you can undo it. That since you created it, you can dismantle it. You've just got to remember that since it's something that you have created, you can uncreate it. And so, since this wasn't really telling me whether you should move on or not, I pulled the Page of Swords. Now, this is a suit card, or a court card, and court cards usually represent an actual person. And again, it's a young person, someone who is maybe just getting out on their own or just starting out maybe in school or you know someone who's young and naive and and again I'm you know but also this person has a hot air balloon behind them which usually means travel or you know moving going you know somewhere or something or and so 
again, I'm not sure how that pertains to it, that I only interpret the cards. I don't know the whole situation, so I'll just tell you what the cards mean and let you decide. And then, again, because I wasn't sure if this was telling us a yes or a no, whether you should move on, I pulled another card. And I got the chariot, which is usually, you know, two opposing ideas in your head, whether to move on or to stay. And this card tells us that you've got to take control of things. You've got to get control of it. And because this person is definitely in motion, I'm thinking that the cards are trying to say that you need to, you know, take control of the situation and maybe consider moving on. That either get control or move on. And so I pulled just a couple more cards here to try to confirm what the cards are trying to tell us. And I've and I pulled the star card, which means to keep the faith and to look within yourself for your own answers. And let your own light, inner light, guide you. That you actually know what you need to do. You just need to have faith that it's the right thing to do. And then I pulled, you know, another one and got the Nine of Swords. Which represents the things that keep us awake at night, the nightmares, the things that, you know, we worry about at night. And you've been spending a lot of time worrying and losing a lot of sleep over this. And so again, that just reaffirms to keep the faith here with the star card. You know what you need to do you know the answers you just need to have faith that you know the answers and that you know what you need to do and then I pulled one last card and I got the moon and the moon card tells us that things aren't always as they seem to be that there are hidden dangers in the dark and so, again, it's kind of reaffirming that maybe you need to think about moving on. Or you need to at least have faith what you've been thinking about, you know, is maybe correct. You, you know, deep down inside, and you need to have faith that you do know what you need to do. You need to battle the monster you've created and dismantle it. And that is what I have for you. And I thank you for your question and hope it helps. Bye.